So the traditional Hmong longhouses are a real feature that you'll often see when you're riding through the rural Vietnam. A real highlight of the traditional Hmong longhouses, which people have probably seen in magazines or National Geographic, these traditional longhouses, they're quite spectacular and a lot of these really remote villages that we get into, these houses are still often there and still used today and in fact there's so many of them and they're stunning, you know, they're obviously built to withstand the tests of time. Some of them must be four or five hundred years old, I would imagine at least. Just like a, a part of the fabric of the stunning countryside right throughout Vietnam. And so often, you know, of course, when we go into these remote villages, our guides and crew take you through a bit of a walking tour going through and explaining different uh, tools and equipment that you'll see in the villages. And in fact, in some places where we do go into, we do have the odd overnight stay where we stay in a traditional longhouse and they've converted into these quite modern and quite, although simplistic, very comfortable overnight stays. And sometimes we'll get riders who are a bit reluctant to go, oh, you know, what's the deal about this uh, longhouse? And in fact, when they stay there, the next day they go, that was the best overnight stay in the whole trip because you really become a part of the local village. And they do an exceptional job, amazing local food, and just, yeah, just this traditional architecture is certainly a real highlight within the trip.